Cody Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Ron Komonohashi, Deranged Detective Chapter 2. So, this manga, for me anyway, is like Detective Conan meets Hardboiled Cop and Dolphin. Detective Conan, for the obvious reasons, but like Hardboiled Cop and Dolphin in terms of genre, because this is a buddy cop series, and let's be real, it's a comedy buddy cop series. And um, we got that supernatural element as well. And I'm telling ya, Hardboiled Cop and Dolphin is really fucking funny. So this is gonna be interesting to see if this manga can make me laugh as hard as this as uh, Hardboiled um, Cop and Dolphin, which so far it really has. Anyway, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. His grin means that a mystery is about to be revealed. And chapter two is titled The Case of the Locked Room Piggy Bank Theft. Oh my god. Alright, Akira, let's see what you got. I wonder if he's here. Is it a locked room or a strange card? <laughs> Seems like you're uh, like you're doing well. <laughs> Kiku-san asked me to come check on you. Oh, did he think I'd been murdered? So did you bring me a heart pounding case? No, I didn't. Uh he was swallowed up, uh, swallowed up by the floor of sloth. <laughs> mutter, 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 mutter. Huh? Quit muttering and just speak, uh, speak up. This damn good for nothing. Actually, I don't mind if you just keep that to yourself. You're wasting my overflowing passion for solving mysteries as well as the number one town at Flu. Flu? Blue, the world's most prestigious detective academy. All of the top-level detectives are graduates of Blue. All of them? <laughs> um, I had the best um, grades in my class, and I was told uh, I was a genius from the day I started. Huh? That's incredible. But during practical exercises, all of the culprits I was pursuing ended up dead, so they suspected me. I was expelled from Blue, and my detective's license uh, was revoked. I was banned from doing detective work. Oh, gosh. I'm telling you, that really, really reminds me of Harbaugh Cop and Dolphin. It does! Because the same thing ha happened. Well, not to the extent that suspects were dead. But Samajima, he was just too... He was really violent. It, he was like... Um, like uh, like the Bruce Willis kind of cop. Uh, like Bruce Willis in Die Hard and Mel Gibson in Lethal Weapon kind of shit. He was and he was beating the fuck out of people, and he and it was it was bad, and he was sent to the island because of that shit. It's <laughs> making me think of. If you're hardball cop and dolphin readers, you know you know what I mean. Detective's license. It's an indispensable passport for solving cases. It basically gives um, implicit authorization from uh, police around the world. Without it, you're not allowed to participate in solving cases. If you break uh, break the rules, Blue will, will order your death. Death? But you solved that case. That couldn't be helped. That's why going forward, we'll act like you're uh, like like you're the one doing the solving. I'll just control you from the shadows. So that's why you said starting today you'll be a famous detective. Wait, I'm trying to think what this reminds me of. This sounds very, very familiar. Oh, I know what this is. This is straight up Detective Conan. This is straight up Detective Conan because, um, remember, uh, Shuichi got shrunk by the, um, by the chemical. He, has, he got shrunk by the, by the black organization and because he needed to stay in hiding from those fuckers, uh, otherwise he would be killed. Then, um, then, uh, he used, um, he was using other people with his tools to ha make them look good. <laughs> and solid cases. So, yeah, this is straight up Detective Conan, but a little bit different. This, at least, they know. They're, at least, uh, knows is being used. You're free anyway, right? Um, I am, but I'm scared of being controlled. But, but yeah, let's be real, this is also Hitman reported in a way, too. 
Sorry, my fr sorry, my phrasing was bad. Thank you. Thank you for having phrasing up in here. Uh, you're a puppet. You're horrible. <laughs> Don't be so scared. I'll just go to the scene, crime scenes and discreetly offer advice while hiding myself. Dude, this is straight. Well, Conan wasn't technically hiding. He was in plain sight. I, if, just watch. He, Ron's going to be in plain sight too, just like Conan. He is. He needs that freaking uh, bow tie that uh, Conan has too. That's why, don't you just stay here and give me a, uh, advice over the phone? No way! I'm gonna meet the deceased and show them my respect. Let's see. There it is, his habit of not listening to others. Again, very Conan-like. Uh, but that's impossible! I, I know, as long as you don't bring me any cases! He's so incredibly selfish. I love... God, again, this is very Conan-like, because Conan's exactly like this, too. He's so incredibly selfish. I'd love to take on a big case, too, but um, Amamiya Senpai is the one who assigns them. Amamiya Senpai? She's a beautiful woman. Um, I can see why she has fans at the station. How do you know? The fact that you're in the background of this photo means that you didn't take it. And since neither of you are looking at the camera, it was taken secretly. You're sorry. Uh, morning solution. Uh, you're right. It was sent to me by a colleague who says uh, he wants Amamiya to step, <laughs> step on him. Oh my god. That's pretty good. He's totally different from you whose voice goes up uh, every time you talk about her. Too scared. I mean, just today. Um, Amamiya-san, uh, a corpse was discovered by the river. Um, it's a man in his 20s with a head injury. I'll send you the picture. It's possible he was killed. Um, I'll head to the scene. Please take me with you. No way, Shiki. I have a more suitable task for you. This? What is it? Well, blam Don't cut any corners. Yes, ma'am. It was like that. It's amazing you have your own box for documents, but it's just odd jobs and low importance uh, cases. The others like to, um, to call it the trash can. The day will come when you'll get the last laugh. The day that the trash can will rule humanity. <laughs> so that kind of scares me though. But, oh god, there's a re- Dude, that's making me laugh for multiple reasons. One, because it's just funny. Um, and two, it just makes me think of why I see, like, dumpsters turned over <laughs> on the street in, on Dry Life PD Seattle <laughs> by trash. By the tweaker trash. Because <laughs> they, cause they know they're trash and they're turning out and they're taking out on the, on the oppressive trash cans. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's what it makes me think of. No, it won't. Is that supposed to make um is that supposed to make me feel better? Well It should because the, the trash cans ultimately are um are uh, oppressive to uh trash criminals, so that should make you feel better. <laughs> so, uh what's your what's your trash for today? Hey, come on. We had a report that the money in a piggy bank uh, decreased. Oh my god! The piggy bank? They said it's a totally impossible crime, but you don't have any interest in a coin thief, right? Uh, I don't even know what we could do it, uh, to the culprit. Let's go, to <laughs> Let's go, to You look totally shady. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be a disguise? What are you, what's with you all of a sudden? The duty of solving cases that everyone else has abandoned falls to me, the man with the highest grades of blues history. Holy shit, this is so coded. This is. And I'm not gonna lie, this is totally hard world, uh, cop and doll because they solve stupid cases like this too. They do, they solve, like, um, oh my god, what was it? Um. Not this week's chapter. I think it was the week before. Yeah, it was um, the week before's chapter. Um, they were they solved a case, uh, this weird panty theft case. So this woman's and her grandmother's panties were stolen. 
and the freaking panty theft was this weird ass guy that wanted to wear their pant these um these women's uh, well it was originally uh the uh, ho um, bartenders the hot bot uh hostess bartenders uh panties on his head and it turned out it was the granny panties and a fucking manatee knocked him off the off the dock into the ocean it was so funny that's what this is making me think of and then you had a case like where um where there was uh random shit i think it was random shit just going um or just random like weird attacks and it turned out it was just an it was like an octopus bomber it was so weird like i'm, I'm telling you horrible this is really a lot like horrible cop and dolphin in a way it's making me think of and yeah detective conan does shit like this too but this, <laughs> this is like horrible cop and dolphin it totally is now um now let's go hey wait what is it is it dead? It's sleeping. It's a dude. Cats sleep like that. My cat sleeps like that. My keys. You sleep like that when you have your kitty twins. Yeah. See, he's, he's turning over right now. Well, he's trying to play. I'm trying to attack my hand right now. Silly cat. Silly cat. Um. Coming. Huh? Hello. I'm Officer Shiki, and this is uh Kamu uh. Kind tomorrow, uh, from the 100, uh, from 110 Piggy Bank Company. Kind tomorrow, did you eat some spoiled food or some, or something? Um, a name shows who you are, right? <laughs> it's gone too far. You'll get killed if they find out, find you out. So try to act normal. Oh, um, this must be the fabled Piggy Bank. Uh, kind, kind tomorrow, he's deep in character at least. Uh, that's a suitcase. Um, what if you leave a mark? True, it is rather large. Is it yours? It's my sister. She just got home. You live here with your sister, right? And the piggy bank is in the living room. This is, uh, the bank with the rubber plug that it's almost, almost, uh, that's absolutely impossible to remove coins from. Uh, the huge hit, the, uh, pregnable piggy, uh, pig piggy bank. Uh, the color, the popular color is pink, but this is yellow. That's right, the local general store uh, had a lot of yellow ones, so it was cheap. How do you know so much about it? I studied up on your smartphone earlier. <laughs> Use it without asking. Er, so both of you were away two days ago? Um, when I got home yesterday, I realized that it was lighter. Who stole the monies? Did you steal the monies? Did you steal money, kitties? No, you're not that stupid. You're not that stupid. Well, actually, you are sneaky because you knocked over and stole my earrings. You almost got away with it. Oh, spe oh, speaking of, he knocked over my earrings again. What is with you and my earrings, kitty? <sighs> At least you didn't, like, knock and move them all the way over to the door this time. Oh, gosh. Didn't get away with it this time, cat. You thought you did, but I caught you. I don't know what it is with this cat. He likes knocking things over. Er, so both of you were, um, were way too, uh, uh, er, so both of you were away two days ago. When I got home yesterday, I realized that it was lighter. Do you have any idea why? Well, ow! Um, my mustache, it got caught, uh, my mustache is caught. That's my sister's jewelry. When did you grow that? Um, don't you keep one in your pocket to stick on? Come uh, to get in the way. Um, what's that? T what's that, Toto? Your uh, face says, "I wonder why the burglar didn't take any jewelry, huh?" Ah, that's definitely strange. Speaking of, t this is so Conan. This is so Conan. Speaking of strange, uh, we've been getting a lot of silent phone calls lately. Silent phone calls. I felt unsafe, so um, I made sure to lock all the doors and windows be uh, the day before yesterday. Well, that sells it. Uh, did you figure some, out something? It's totally hopeless. What? Stealing money from an uh, penetrable piggy bank inside a locked house really is an impossible crime. I thought it was your duty to solve this. Are you drinking pure round sugar syrup? Um, relax, Toto. Here at 110 Piggy Bank, it's the savings that hold the key to solve the problem. Don't get so into your character. I'm home. Oh, Big Sis is back. 
because I'm so slow, I ended up staying uh, the night at our parents' house after helping them, and uh, then got back yesterday before my sister. When I picked up the piggy bank, I thought maybe it was just her imagination that it was lighter. Imagination? No new information, huh? This is tough. What's the, what's the problem? It was her imagination. Don't give up on the case. Um, it's just, it isn't just my imagination. The, um, this piggy bank was as heavy as, um, as an iron statue. Good girl, that's what I wanted to hear. Huh? What? In that case, let's crack the pig. Uh, how do you make that jump? I don't mind. Same. There definitely, uh, there, there's definitely less in here, but we need to make sure. Careful, don't touch. Send that off to the uh, forensics lab, Toto. I'm going for a walk, so we'll meet up later. Huh? What are you talking about? There you are. You're late, Toto, and I ran here. And why'd you come way out here? It's Sugana-san from uh, forensics. Have you finished the exam? Uh, examination? Huh? None of the younger sister's fr uh, fingerprints are on the coins? I knew it. What? You knew that already? Uh, that's... Mia senpai Why? What are you doing here, Amamiya senpai Investigating the corpse, and I thought I told you not to come here. Is the corpse over there? Hey, wait, don't just walk in. Who's he? He's my friend. Just, <laughs> just a loser? No, he's no my friend. What a dick. Um, Amamiya kan uh, Totomaru Ishiki will be solving this murder case. Is this a joke? Who knows? It's hard to tell him, um, tell with him sometimes. If I don't feel satisfied enough to make this face, you're fired. Fired? Well, we finally get to meet. Who are you? Who are you? Tell me your regrets. Hey, what are you? What are you? Um, what are you? Uh, hey, what are you doing? I've got it all now, Officer Ishiki. You're up. Thank you for um. Thank you all for gathering here. First, I'd like to start with the mystery of the piggy bank. Just skip that. The investigative investigative division doesn't deal with anything that trifling, but that's odd. I was sure this case was in the investigative division's uh, trash can. What? Um, um, the results of the forensics test showed that only the older sister's fingerprints uh, were on the coins and none of the younger sister's. Huh? Does that mean only the money my sister sa saved was stolen? But it's a piggy bank that you can't open without breaking it. Doesn't that make it more impossible? Um, well, I gave you a souvenir for my walk, right, Toto? Ah, that's right. When you, um, think about how to get the money out, it does appear impossible. But if you can't get the money out, you can just buy a completely new one. Ah, that's our piggy bank. They were selling the same model at the local general store. Here's the, what I think. The coins weren't missing because they were stolen. It was to cover up the fact that the piggy bank was broken, then a new one was purchased and coins were put inside. Isn't that right, big sis? Why me? Why would I do such a uh, such a thing? If I broke it, I wouldn't just tell her without t uh, without hiding it. No, you are full of shit. You are full of shit. Uh, well, y your voice is crack cracking. Relax, Toto. Uh, right. I need to solve this case. The reason that um uh the piggy bank absolutely had had to be hidden is on this riverbank. It was the killing of this man right here. Oh, what a twist! So she used the piggy bank. To kill the guy! Oh shit! What a twist! It was, um. It was the killing of this man right here! What? When Big Sis returned home, there was a stalker waiting for her! A stalker? Ah, oh, the silent phone calls! Whoa! The stalker, uh, backed her into a living room, into the living room where she hid it and, uh, killed him with the piggy bank that was as heavy as an iron statue. The piggy bank broke and the coins inside got covered, um, in blood. To cover up what happened, she bought a new piggy bank and put new coins inside. That's why only her fingerprints were on the coins. And finally, uh, she bought, uh, she brought the corpse using, uh, the suitcase in the foyer. A suitcase that's too big for a one-night trip. Ooh, the piggy bank case and murder case were connected? I said it all. That's not true, right? It's as he said. It's as he says. I did it. Big sis, but basically, it was the stalker's fault. Hiding a corpse is a serious crime. Go drown. Someone who kills a person and hides them and has no right to live in this world. Damn, he's trying to pressure the culprit to death again. 
what's that about? That's pretty cool. Um, don't pay him mind, um, pay him any mind, ma uh, ma'am. He's just talking to himself. Please don't take him seriously. Drown in the river. Okay. Big sis, she's too obedient. Damn, Mama Mia Senpai, go stop her. Me? Hurry, she's going to drown. She's going to die. Damn it, this is a new suit. Yeah. Drown. Okay, um, big sis! Or, what did I... Mm, I did it again! Glad they're safe. That settles that case. We found a fragment of the piggy bank in the stalker's hair. We also found his blood and fingerprints in the living room, so everything lines up with their confession. She'll probably get some leniency in her sentence if uh, the court acknowledges self-defense. I hope so. But the real problem was this case. Uh, your fl uh, flagrant breach of conduct. There it is. You brought an outsider into a restricted area. You both interfered with the case without permission. How is that interfering with the case? When the piggy bank was connected to it. And also, technically, the suitcase was too. But here's the thing. Why bring the piggy bank... Why just the piggy bank to forensics? Why not bring the suitcase too? That's what I'm kind of confused on. And he, um, intimidated a suspect. Uh, what's your friend's name? It's all over for me. It's, uh, Kam Kamu <laughs> Kamasama, huh? N no way. I have to tell him about, uh, the outcome. So what's the heart-pounding case? Why don't you just solve it today? <laughs> it was obviously a joke. You're obviously heartbroken. Did Mamma Mia come praise you today? Huh? Come to think of it, she didn't have a single nice thing to say. Cheer up, Toto. You did a fantastic, a fantastic job for a pure idiot. Gee, thanks. What a weird guy. He's really obsessed with um, solving cases. He's incredibly selfish. Uh, selfish. He throws in, um, investigations into chaos and tries to kill the culprit. And it makes me not want to work with him. Uh, work with him again. But for some reason, part of me can't wait for the next case. The part of me that's excited for the thrill of bronze deductions and mystery solving. That means today is a special day. Puppet establishment day. <laughs> Think of uh, better names. They depend, deepen their bond and move on to the next case. Okay. So here's my thing with, uh, with this, uh, with the, um, with this chapter. So the thing I find interesting is it, it kind of makes you think about Detective Conan a little bit. Because Conan kind of does the same thing. He interferes with, the, with cases all the freaking time. He does that. And he doesn't get reprimanded at all. And you gotta, and it makes me think, okay, that maybe it's because he's a kid that he doesn't get reprimanded with it. R reprimanded with the case, with the, the case, and he helps all the time. Um, here, it's just like, wait a minute. What, why is, why is Ron getting reprimand, uh, reprimanded? Probably, he, he should be getting... Uh, he should be getting praised because he's an adult for crying out loud. But he's an adult, so there's that. But the thing that bothers me is that, um, oh my god, I forgot her name, so you gotta excuse me. Uh, that Amamiya Mia, like, bitched. I bitched a total about, about interfering with the case. Dude, freaking. Uh, all the ev the cases tied together. Like, what the fuck is your problem? The cases tied together. You should be thanking them. You should be like, ex you should be happy that everything tied together. The, fuck is the other thing that kind of bothered me is that what if uh, Ron knew that about the piggy bank having uh, evidence too? Why not the suitcase? And the other thing that just was like a major ha huh for me was why didn't the older sister just n call the cops about the stalker? Why didn't she just call them when he, she killed the stalker right away? Yeah, I know she's scared, but it's like, it's like, huh? Major ha? Huh? But... I'm very curious what you guys think in um, regards to this chapter. I'm, I'm just like Amisa. Oh, sorry, Amamiya is just a complete bitch. 
my god, she's a complete bitch. And, oh god, the best way to describe this manga, especially after this chapter, is, I would say, right in the middle. Or, I want to say, like, right in the, uh, uh, like, more, yeah, probably right in the middle. Like, a balance of Harpo, Cop, and Dolphin, and, um, and Detective Conan. It's like a perfect, it's like a perfect combination of the two, if that makes sense. But the thing that I really can't wait to get to is about Ron's tattoo. Because that tattoo has got to be why he has, um, why he has this power. I'm very curious if there's um, organization involved or something. I'm very, very curious about it. And this is, um, and it brings me to another thing that reminds me of Harboil Cop and Dolphin because uh, we found out in that in Harboil Cop and Dolphin um, a few weeks ago that um, that there's this organization organization that was behind bringing Samajima uh, to the island and uh, to handle the um, the uh, ocean ocean gangs and the and uh, solve uh, the uh, the cult the yeah to figure out the shit with the cult and all that so there's got to be something here there's got to be a bigger picture here it's more than just you know Ron having this power and all that there's got to be something else and I can't wait to find out what it is and I hope it's kind of more along the um, hardboiled, uh, gosh, do I want to see more on the hardboiled cop and dolphin side? Yeah, I want to see more on the hardboiled, because hardboiled cop and dolphin is more, um, more supernatural, so I kind of want something more like that compared to Detective Conan where it's more scientific. Um, in, uh, in terms of, you know, power related. So, uh, yeah, I want something more, it's obviously got to be more supernatural in terms of like a talent, because that tattoo seems like it's more of like a talisman uh, related thing. Um, or, that would be the wrong wording. I think talisman slash ruin, magical ruin re uh, related kind of thing. The reason why I'm saying ruin is uh, it just reminds me of what um, we saw an ancient Magus Bride, what was it, a couple chapters ago? Yeah, a couple chapters ago where uh, they were talking about ancient ruins because in, in ruins, um, with a ruin, it mean, and even talismans, it, the, whatever you put on there, symbol-wise, it, it means power. Um, so there's got to be something to this. There has to be. And in... Ron's case, and I want to go back to what he said about Blue, um, he was saying that, um, uh, I had the best gr grades of my class and I was told I was a genius from the start, but during practical exercises, all of the culprits I was pursuing ended up dead, so they suspected me. Someone had to be jealous up in there, or someone had to be someone had to sabotage Ron by putting this ruin on uh, ruin slash mark on his neck, maybe even on his. We don't know what else is covering his body if there's a ton of ruins on his body. I and I can't wait to find out if that's the case, because to me that would make the most sense. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Ron content. There's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, for me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!